Your 19 first alert forecast, sponsored by the original Mattress Factory. And come Thanksgiving, that's when our weather forecast is really going to start to take a turn here in Northeast Ohio. And then Friday, wow, that's a whole nother story. Yeah. 19 first alert meteorologist Andy Chilean joining us now with uh, the details, whatever needs to know about Andy. Yeah, lots to break down this week. It's an active week, but we will be able to find some dry time as well. And so I would say travel honestly is going to be better these next three days leading up to Thanksgiving than Thanksgiving and afterwards for post Thanksgiving travel. That's when things get a little bit dicey out there. Your forecast today temperatures in the mid 50s. This will be our warmest day for the foreseeable future. So let's just talk about that right now. We're going to be cloudy and some showers are going to be moving in late. This rain is pretty delayed today, so much of the day is actually going to be dry with that south wind 10 to 15 miles per hour. You can see those temperatures in the 50s. It may not be until the evening commute and even after dark when we see at least some showers moving in. It's going to be all rain though. Temperatures well above freezing. Then let's talk Thanksgiving. I was talking about this over the weekend. Not much has changed here. We're in the mid 30s to start low 40s in the afternoon. There'll be an increasing north to northwest breeze. There's still the potential for a wintry mix. Confidence is still medium to low. I know it's still if uh, it's getting closer, obviously, but whether that system slides just to the south or comes a little bit further north is still going to be something that we have to fine tune. Right now, though, I would plan on at least a little bit of rain and snow in the morning. Watch your morning Thanksgiving travel in the afternoon. Any snow that falls would melt because we're above freezing. And then Thursday night, that's when things really start to change and into Friday. We already have a 19 first alert weather day in effect on Friday. That's how high the confidence is going to be for some very cold temperatures late affect snow with strong winds that could lead to several inches of snow, particularly in the snow belt region. So travel on I-90 Cleveland to the state line, you know where it is and you know how things can get dicey there. We may be talking about travel impacts there for Friday and into the upcoming weekend with even the potential for snow squalls. What those are, are bursts of snow that really reduce visibility with gusty winds. So you're going to have to watch for that if you're traveling at all on the Friday after Thanksgiving. For right now, though, temperatures in the 40s to near 50. Rain is holding off for right now and it's trying to take shape out to our west with that system that's moving through. Let's talk Thanksgiving Day travel showers across the east today. Tomorrow not looking and too bad as a whole across the country. Some snow over the mountain west. Here's that system taking shape on Wednesday. Some rain in the Midwest to that wintry mix on Thanksgiving Day could develop into some significant snow in the interior northeast on Friday. And then here are our lake effect snow showers Friday into the upcoming weekend, which could slow travel. And it's going to be pretty cold during that time frame as well. So breaking it down with the next seven days, the one day I would have highlighted is Friday, 19 first alert weather day, lake effect snow and wind. But look at these temperatures, Arctic blast into the weekend, windy and cold. And we'll talk about more lake effect snow by Sunday as well.